So it is no secret now that the Richmond Football Club have pretty much built the best ever draft hand and AFL team has ever seen that is not a foundation club. Of course, unfortunately for them, their best players in Daniel Rioli and Shea Bolton and not so much Jack Graham, shout out Jack Graham for his incredible 2024 season, decided to leave the club. But then fortunately for them, they were able to bring in a ton of fantastic picks, including picks 1, 6, 10, 11, 18, 20, 23, and 24. Did I just speed run that off the top of my head? I think I just did. But in saying that, Richmond now have eight picks in the top 24, and it seems like there could still be a need to try and be a bit more greedy and upgrade the draft hand even more. This has been suggested that the Richmond Football Club are going to be interested in potentially trading for pick two with North Melbourne on draft night. The reason, again, a lot of people are saying that North Melbourne could potentially trade this pick is due to the fact that they really don't need another midfielder and all the best players available at pick two are currently pretty much midfielders. North Melbourne really do need to invest in potentially improving their back line and this could obviously lead them to trading down and going for a guy like Alex Taru or Luke Trainer, who's a very good halfback and then a very good key defender. So there's been a lot of people to kind of go around and speculate if the Tigers would be interested in pick two, which we know apparently they are, what would they try and trade up to make this happen? So I saw a post that actually said why I think we should trade up to pick two and why I think North should absolutely accept this deal. There's no secret that North doesn't want another midfielder at the top of the draft. They have Luke Davies Uniac, George Wardlaw, Kobe, Colby McKercher, uh, Harry Sheasel, Jai Simpkin, and uh, Phillips, which, yeah, I mean, I don't know if he really counts, but whatever, I'll keep going. They want a key position player. Problem is, there ain't any value at taking one at pick two when you could the same player at pick six. My solution is that Richmond trade six and 14. Uh, fun fact, like 10 minutes after he posted this, Richmond moved 14 in a trade to, uh, you know, Fremantle for Shea Bolton. So shout out this guy. Uh, they got another first round pick and first choice of any key position players. We have the unique ability to have the first two picks in the draft. Hopefully, meaning we pair up good mates Sam Lawler and Finn O'Sullivan to create an elite duo going forward. Now, this is, again, super interesting because... I think if Richmond were to, you know, to try and take Finn O'Sullivan in this draft, I don't think Carlton would uh, really want to wake up in the morning. There's a lot of people at Carlton who would definitely need to probably go and get some therapy and would be very upset because I genuinely believe the whole reason the Carlton Football Club actually traded up to pick three is because they found out Richmond were sold on potentially taking Sam Lawler at pick one. So they realized Finn O'Sullivan was probably going to go to three, meaning that they were able to capitalize and go and get him. It'd be very funny if Richmond ultimately just decided to flip Carlton the bird and said, you know what? We're going to trade for pick two now and take Finn O'Sullivan there. So you can't get him and you, you're stuck taking someone that you don't necessarily want as much. That would be an ultimate bird to the rivals that I think would make every Richmond fan laugh, but every single Carlton fan cry in their pillows and probably chuck on some some juice world i don't know what's some sad music they long to be by the carpenters there you go but obviously because 14 is off the table this trade would most likely look like something else now would richmond be able to trade pick six and 18 to get pick number two i don't really think so it's not just the fact that i think north melbourne also would refuse to do that deal because I think they would probably lose it, of course. But I think, do Richmond really want to trade pick six? Are they going to trade pick six if they were going to go and get pick two? Again, 99.9% .9 likely they would probably have to, even though they don't want to. So what a trade would maybe have to look like is Richmond trading up pick six and 11 to get pick two and maybe North Melbourne throw in their 
future second or something. I don't know. Even that deal as a Richmond fan, I'm not, not really liking. I know there's this big consensus around by people that are saying that Richmond should go and try and trade for pick two. But if it was actually up to me, I would hold tight on the picks we have right now and go and just cook with one and six and not worry about pick two. Again, I know we can get another generational play probably at pick two, but I would way rather with where Richmond are and the lack of depth on this team, I would way rather take two middle first round picks into the draft than trading them both up to go for two. Again, I understand why a team like Carlton traded 12 and 14 for three. They needed an elite player in this draft. They didn't necessarily need a couple of maybe above average ones with a chance of them being elite. They wanted to make sure they got an elite guy. And I think that's what they're doing, trying to target Finn O'Sullivan. I think if Richmond were to back in their drafting and just go balls to the wall, all in, I would honestly be a lot more happier with that. Again, if a trade was to come about where Richmond were able to trade 10 and 11 for number two, I would definitely think about that a lot more just based on the fact that we would get to keep pick six. But I just can't see North Melbourne agreeing to a deal with Richmond that doesn't include pick six. And I just, I think Richmond should back themselves in and go and keep those picks. Again, it's a lot of ifs and buts on what they are going to do. I think a lot of people are forgetting it could every well be a possibility where North Melbourne get an offer from another team on draft night who really wants to move up to two and maybe North are comfortable moving down back and maybe a team offers them like pick, you know, 11 and their future first and maybe North Melbourne look at that and start to consider it. It's just really... North are going to play the waiting game and it's going to suck for them because they're not going to have enough time when it does come to pick two. It's not like they can take a player at pick two and then trade him later on to that team. It's, it's not the NBA where you can do a sign and trade and a draft and trade of a player. It just does not work like that. But in a, in a good world for North Melbourne, I think that's what they would be going with. It's, it is really interesting, don't get me wrong. I've even heard some people just suggest that maybe North reach and take an Alex Taru at pick two, especially considering he's just climbing the draft ranks at this board and is now currently ranked like number seven or eight. Again, there's still maybe a 1% chance they do that, but also another chance that maybe they take best available, whoever that may be for them, whether that's a Finn O'Sullivan or a Harvey Langford, a Jagger Smith or a Sam Lawler if he's still there. And then maybe later on, they trade away their future first to try and get back into this draft if Alex Taru and or Luke Trainer are still available. So there's a lot of really interesting things to, of course, go over here. Richmond will 100% be looking at pick two. I'm not exactly too sure they would do the deal, especially if they have to give up pick six. But if they can keep pick six and maybe it comes down to 10 and 11 for pick two, yeah, I would not be surprised at all if Richmond 100% considered it and did their massive research, especially if they're completely sold on getting maybe Finn O'Sullivan at that pick. But again, if you haven't already, I would really like to, of course, hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. Do you guys think the Richmond Football Club should, of course, go and try and trade for pick two from North Melbourne? Or do you guys think they should just hold firm like I think they should do with their picks and take in the eight top 24 picks in this draft and just go and cook with it. Again, I'd very much like to know. Go and subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO slash vlogging channels as well. Links for them will be all in the description down below. But yeah, as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.